Okay, so we have now our mouse events and user interaction tutorial, basic part one. Uh, find more tutorials at jQuery.heaveninteractive.com. Get tutorials in your inbox. We have a mailing list there for you to sign up for, which is fun. And our outline today, mouse events and basic user interaction. So we're going to first create an HTML element and then we're going to assign an event handler to that element which is going to allow us to make things happen when they when the event happens and then we're going to write some event handler code for that so here is my uh, user interface and right now I just have let's say we have a little blank form here and there's a button so this is an input type equals button and this is an input type equals text which you can see here here's the text here's the button the text has an email of an, I'm sorry has an ID of email the button has an ID of join button and uh, there's um, some basic uh, jQuery document ready uh, a, a jQuery document ready uh, area where I'm going to write uh, my event handler code and there's a function called is valid email address now all of this code is available on uh, jQuery dot heaven interactive dot com so you can just go there and um, you'll find this tutorial under our jQuery in 10 minutes series so I have the text and I have the button here's the text here's the button here is my document ready uh, function so so when the document is ready I can say join button notice that I'm using jQuery this is the same thing as having a, a dollar sign here but I use jQuery because it, then it won't conflict with any other libraries, which happens sometimes when you use a dollar sign. So we say join button. I'm going to assign a click function to it. Notice how my editor color codes it. Function. Okay, if you use Dreamweaver or something like that, it color codes it really nicely. And I'm going to just assign a click right now saying you have clicked gotcha okay notice that we have a pound or hash sign here join button which is the name of our our ID of our button and let's see what this code does if I wrote it correctly it says you have clicked gotcha so that's what is the event the event is click and I am clicking the button right so we've got so we want something better to happen on on click so I'm going to get the user's email first from the box or get the user's input from the box so I'm going to say var email entered equals now what is the ID of that text element it is email right here so I'm going to say email dot val if you look up the val function on jQuery.com it just basically gets the value so whatever they put in the box it will now be in val so their email is now in the email entered variable right so let's say you entered and then we'll just write that back to them it's kind of like playing a tag right uh, John Doe John Doe 2 it says you enter John Doe 2 alright how about Janie join our list you enter Janie okay those are not of course valid email addresses so we want to do a check so I'm going to say I'm going to write if 
and we have a function here is valid email address which you can find on our website jQuery.HeavenInteractive.com. If false is valid email address, and I pass that new, I pass that variable email entered, right? Is valid email address email entered? If false, that is not an email address, okay? So, is valid email address? I said, if false is valid email address, and then I passed that email entered because this function is valid email address returns true or false. Okay, I don't really know how this function works, but I don't care. I know it returns true or false, and then I just use it in my system. Pretty basic. Okay, so now I'm going to reload and I click join our list, and it said that is not a valid email address, is what it says. How about Janie.com? That is not a valid email address. But now when I pre when I type in Janie at heaveninteractive.com, it's valid and we don't do anything. What we would then do is we would pass. If it's valid, we would then put it in the database. But if you want to learn how to do database programming, you need to learn some PHP or Ruby on Rails, something like that. For now, you should be able to do uh, a basic uh, email validation. But more importantly, you can understand that we have a, an event handler, which is uh, the click. And then the function within that click uh, block right here is the actual event handler. So all this is the event handler and we are handling the click event from the join button. So as I mentioned find the complete code and a little bit more of a uh, granular example at jQuery.HeavenInteractive.com and thank you very much.